Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce McTeer and I am the owner and operator of La Georgia Creation Designs. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another pop-up DIY special. I am so excited to share this here Africa print fabric earring project with you all tonight. We're going to be making, or today, whenever you're watching this video, uh, we're going to be making a pair of, of course, African print earrings, and I'm going to go through some of the things that you are going to need for this DIY, okay? Now, you can find this shape. You used to be able to find this shape at Walmart, but I believe you can find this shape at Michael's. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby, I know most places sell wood beads, but I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby or Joanne's Fabrics uh has this walmart doesn't sell shapes like this so you would have to get this from michael's i know for a fact that you can get this from michael's okay and this is what it looks like it's an oval okay so you're going to need something that is shaped just like this you're going to need some coral shells You're going to need some 12 gauge aluminum wire. You're going to need some fish hooks, some ribbon closures. It's a lot of stuff you're going to need. You're going to need your flat nose pliers, your wire cutters, and your round nose pliers. You're going to need some E6000 a ruler, some 12 gauge wire, and I got this wire from Michaels. I really like this wire now, it's, it's, it's by Artistic Wire. I really like this wire, y'all. I really like it. And you're gonna need some scissors, and last but not least, you're gonna need your choice of fabric. And this is another gorgeous print that I got from Dr. Veronica Shy Am. Y'all go over and uh, I think she has, I'm, I'm going to leave her email and her phone number down in the description box so that uh, if you all want to go and get you some goodies, which is some of this African print fabric, please do so okay she has this is what she sell this is what she does she has beautiful beautiful remnants y'all like when i say gorgeous i mean gorgeous you're also going to need some uh fusible web and i've been using this in the last two projects so you're going to need some fusible web and you're also going to need some interfacing okay this is lightweight interfacing and pretty much the stuff that I'm showing y'all, I use it to, to do a lot of sewing projects, but this interfacing has like a, it has like, it's not glue, but it's, it's, it has an adhesive on it. So what you do is you on it, you're gonna on it down on the fabric, okay? So you're gonna need some of this. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get both of these from Walmart. And the if your Walmart sells fabric, because every Walmart doesn't sell fabric. Every Walmart used to, but not anymore. So the fusible web you can get from there and the interfacing you can get from there. Okay. And it's iron-on. This is an iron-on uh, interfacing. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I have already took the liberty and cut out my pieces already. I've, I've done quite a bit of things already for this project. So basically, you're going to need to cut out four pieces of your fabric, okay, using this. So it's four pieces. You're going to need a, a, part, a piece for the top and a piece for the back of your earring, okay? You're also going to need four pieces of your fusible web and for each earring you're gonna need four pieces because you need you're gonna need you're gonna put two pieces uh, per earring okay for your fusible web okay 
for your interfacing, I'm going to flip it over because I have already done it. You're going to uh, put a piece on each back part of your fabric. So you're going to iron this on because, like I said, this is an iron on and just to give it a little bit of body. Okay. So you're going to iron it on and cut it out just like you see me do here. And then the very next thing you're going to do once you do that is you're going to take the two pieces of your fusible web, they're together, and you're going to place that in between these two pieces, just like that. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and iron this piece down. Okay, on it really, really well, and I will be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the next thing we wanna do, and as you can see, it's stiff, good and stiff too, and that's what I wanted. I want it to be nice and stiff. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go around and just clean it up a little bit. Okay, if you see anything that looks like a little uneven, just go around and clean it up. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ribbon closure. And I'm going to go, I'm going to come up to the top and put it up at the top of my earring. Just like this. I hope you all can see it. I'm just gonna go over top and squeeze it in. Wait a minute. Might make out better if I just squeeze it with my finger and then go in and squeeze it completely. There it is, okay? And then you just go from side to side Squeezing it in, make sure it's where you're supposed to be. Okay, so you go from one side and then you go to the other side, just like that. And the thing about these ribbon closures, when you put them on, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're permanent, okay, so they're not gonna go anywhere. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the next thing we're going to do, and I have, I have already done it, is I cut out uh, two pieces of my 12 gauge aluminum wire, 24 inches long, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop, just like that. And then I'm going to make a series of squ swirls or spirals or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use my finger. And if you have nylon pliers, you can use nylon pliers to do this. Like I always say, I have a pair, but I just think it works. When I grip it with my finger, it just works better for me, okay? So I'm going to go down. And I want to try to go all the way down until my piece is about maybe let's see what we have left here so this is that's 12 about uh, 12 13 14 15 and a half inches long so it's about 15 and a half inches long that you're gonna have uh, left over so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to come down to the other end and I'm gonna roll up my wire the opposite way. So I have it this way. So now I'm gonna go the opposite way of this, okay? And I'm gonna go this way. I always started off with my flat nose pliers, I mean my round nose pliers. Started off with that. And then I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna roll it the opposite way. Just like this. 
until I get, and I'm going to continue to go until I get all the way down and meet at the other part of my earring. I'll continue to roll it and roll it. And this is what I want right here. So this is what you want. And you're going to place that right there on your earring. Now, before we place that, we want to put E6000 on it because we want the E6000. Uh, you want to put E6000 on it because you want it to stay in place. So we're going to take a generous amount. If I can get this open. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up at the top. I'm going to put a generous amount up at the top. And then I'm going to put a generous amount down the bottom to hold it in place. And then I'm going to come and just put it right back in the middle where I had it before. Now, I want to measure this bead because this is really big, and I know everybody don't like big earrings, and they do sell these oval shapes in a much, much smaller size. So this earring is about, this is four inches long, okay? So it's four inches long, and I'm going to be adding something else onto it, which is going to make it a way longer than that. And so we're going to add our coral shell. We're gonna put a shell up at the top and a shell down the bottom. That's optional. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can use one shell if you would like. But I'm gonna put one. One up at the top, put one right here in the middle. And then I'm going to put one at the top right here. And this is a small one. And then basically what we're going to do next is we're just going to give this some time to dry. And there you have that. So now we're gonna go ahead and give this some time to dry, ladies and gentlemen, and I will be back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm back. So we're almost done with this earring. Basically, what I already did was I cut out two pieces of my 20 gauge wire and I cut it out uh, six inches long, okay? So pretty much, what I'm going to do next, and I'm sure you all have seen me do this before, I'm just going to go in the middle of my wire, put it on my round nose pliers, and just do like this. And that's all I'm going to do. Okay? And then I'm going to take my piece, and I am going to push it through the hole that's on the ribbon closure just like this, push it all the way through, just like that, and this is what you're gonna have. And then I am going to take and put that through, and then I'm gonna twist it, okay? I'm gonna take my around those pliers and hold it and I'm going to twist it just one good time all the way around just like that okay let me show you what it looks like just twist it and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my coil shell and I'm going to put that in the middle of these two pieces right here just like this and I'm going to pinch them up together just like that, show you what you're gonna have. And then basically, I'm gonna take, I'm trying to hold it in, peep, in place. I'm gonna take my first piece 
and wrap it around the back part of my second piece. We got two pieces here. So I'm gonna take my first piece and go down, hold it as tight as I can, and push this piece up. And then I'm gonna start wrapping it around, just like this, okay? Now you can do it as many times as you see fit, okay? Just like that. Now you're gonna have some extra left over, so all you do is you take your wire cutters and you cut off that extra. Okay. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and just squeeze that in so that we don't have anything sticking, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop. Bring this piece around like that. And I'm gonna give it a little indentation. Let me show y'all. And then I'm gonna take this piece, put my round nose pliers over top to hold it in place, and I'm just going to wrap it around. And you can wrap it as many times as you, as you see fit, okay? And then we're gonna snip off that extra right there. And I'm gonna make sure that I take my round nose pliers and go in and squeeze that in so nothing is sticking, okay? And then last but not least, I'm gonna put on my fish hook. And I'm gonna turn my earring this way, slide this on. And then take my round nose pliers and just squeeze this. Just like that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so here we have our beautiful African print earrings. These are gorgeous. Can you imagine, ladies, having these, wearing these uh, for the summer? These are big. Um, like I said, they do have these in a smaller size. This is four inches long. It's pretty wide. Let me see how wide it is. It's about, it's about two and a half inches wide. Two and a half inches wide. Four inches long, two and a half inches wide. So here we have it. And once again, I want to thank you all for watching. And like I said, if you need any African print uh, fabric, please check out Dr. Veronica Shyam. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave all her information down in the description box so you can reach out to her and get some of those all awesome fabrics that she had. I want to thank you all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful and awesome day, ladies and gentlemen. Peace and blessings. See ya.